see lots of different animals? Yes, you will see lots of different animals. The animals are pronghorns, prairie dogs, birds such as bald eagles, horned hawks, and owls. There are also different, different kinds of bugs such as beetles, stick bugs, spiders, and lots more. There are also rattlesnakes, but don't worry, they rarely come out unless you scare them and they're trying to protect themselves. Will you see lots of different animals? Yes, we saw rattlesnakes, prairie dogs, chickens, cows, owls, hawks, eagles, bunnies, and prockhorns. Will we do any work? Yes, you'll cook, make butter, wash dishes, do work at school, and put up a teepee. And everybody thought it was fun. Will we do any work? Yes, on the first day you will shoot a bow and arrow, build a teepee, and cook food. On the second day, you will go to school, churn butter, cook, make lemonade, make muffins, skin apples, get water, make soup, and wash dishes. You do a lot of work on the prairie. You build a teepee, cook, do schoolwork, carry your gear, wash dishes, collect water, feed chickens, collect eggs. You do all of the cooking, including churning butter, cutting apples and vegetables, and making lemonade. You also collect wood and set the table. You have a lot of breaks. The work is fun and not everyone does all of this work. Can you bring your own bow and arrow? No, you cannot bring your own bow and arrow. But you can use the ones that the PCC has with adult supervision. They are like the ones the Native American use. But the arrowheads are not very sharp. Do I need to bring my own bow and arrow? Do boys do both boys and girls cook? Do both bo boys and girls cook? The answer is yes. Both boys and girls will help cook a lot of different foods. Each child will cook a little bit with some help. Kids will cook and prepare things like fry bread, lemonade, and applesauce. Do boys sleep in a teepee and the girls sleep in the conservation center? The girls and boys get separated into two different teepees. The boys sleep in one teepee and the girls in the other. There are four teepees total, but we only sleep in two. Do the boys sleep in the teepees and the girls sleep in the conservation center? No, that would be totally unfair. The boys and girls both sleep in different teepees. Yes, you will be assigned to a certain teepee. There will be one girl teepee and one boy teepee. The teepees you sleep in are bigger than the teepees that you make. Can you bring stuffed animals? Yes, but only for sleeping in your cozy little sleeping bag and the cold teepee. You can pack stuffed animals in your night bag, but you can only sleep with them, not play with them. Yes, but beware, you might lose them. You can bring them if it helps to sleep at night. Can you bring a stuffed animal to play with? You can, but you can't carry it around with you during the day. You might want to think about bringing your second favorite in case you lose it. Really, really the, the only, only time you can play with it is at night. How long is the bus ride? The bus ride is about 45 minutes long, not two hours like you might think. I advise you to bring a book and sit with someone you like. How long is the bus ride? 30 minutes to an hour and 10 minutes, depending on traffic. What do we eat, and is it any good? The food is okay. It's not spit out bad, but it's not yum, yum, yum. At least that's what I think. The highlights for me were the fresh peaches, the yummy s'mores, and the warm pancakes. So pack your fork and knife. No, don't. You're not allowed. What do we eat? Is it any good? We thought the food was pretty good, but it's a matter of opinion. We ate buffalo jerky, dried corn, currants, fry bread, and cheese for dinner, and s'mores for dessert. The second day, we ate pancakes, seek lemonade, carrots, muffins, and molasses cookies, and they were so good. We eat Native American foods such as beans and bread that we made. There was also turkey and cheese. We snack on currants and dried corn and bison jerky. For dessert, we had peaches and s'mores. On day two, we ate pancakes, chowder, applesauce, carrots, cookies, and lemonade. It depends on your opinion if you like the food or not. What gear do the kids need to pack? There are so many things to bring. 
About a month before the trip, you'll get a list. Here are the basics. A sleeping bag, a flashlight, sunglasses, and clothes. How much stuff are you allowed to pack? You will get a packing list that tells you what to pack and what to wear on the two days. You should pack everything on the list, no more or no less. How much stuff are we allowed to bring? A little bit before the trip to the PCC, you will get a list of what to pack. You will need to have three bags. The first is a backpack with no wheels. The second is a bag for clothes. And the third bag is for your sleeping gear, like your sleeping bag, a pillow, and a small stuffed animal if you want. Can we bring a sleeping bag? Yes, you must bring a sleeping bag and you can bring an optional blanket. It is really cold and you will be sleeping on the floor of the TV. Can we bring sleeping bags? Yes, you can bring a sleeping bag to be comfortable and warm because it's really cold. You have to or else you will be very cold. Be sure to bring extra layers because it gets cold. What Indian tribes lived in Colorado? There are many different tribes that live in Colorado, but the three main ones are Ute, Cheyenne, and Arapaho Indians. But the ones we focus on the most at the BCC are the Cheyenne. What was the name of the Native American tribe that lived in Colorado? Many tribes lived in Colorado, although the PCC once focused on two of them, Cheyenne and Arapaho. Some of the other tribes include the U, the Sioux, and the Shoshone. The Native American tribes that lived in Colorado are, are the Cheyenne, the Arapaho, and the Utes. At the PCC, we studied the Cheyenne or the Plains Indians. Do parents come? Parents come, but they have to sign up with the teacher. They help cook and watch you do stuff. But parents must sign up early because the spots fill up quickly. Yes, parents do come. It's just like a normal field trip for the daytime. At night, there are a couple of parents who sleep in the teepees with us, so you're perfectly safe. Did anyone ever see a rattlesnake? Has Go. anyone seen a rattlesnake? Do, do you ever see rattlesnakes? On the wagon ride, we saw two rattlesnakes. But they weren't scary. They were interesting. If you see a snake when you're walking, you need to back away calmly, yell snake, and warn others that a snake is near. Two classes saw two rattlesnakes, but one did not. It depends on what, how sunny it is. More sun equals more snakes. Two, how noisy you are. Think about it this way. Just make a lot of noise and you probably won't see a rattlesnake. But if you do see one, give the snake its personal space, back away, and it won't harm you. What if it rains? If it rains, then the boys will sleep in the yurt and the girls will sleep in the conservation center. We know this from experience. You'll make some s'mores indoors over a fire in the fireplace and the night hayride will probably be canceled. If it rains, the boys sleep in the yurt and the girls sleep in the conversation center. We hope it doesn't rain because it would be more fun if you sleep in a TV. Did I bring a phone or a camera? No, but the teachers will take pictures and no cell phones allowed. Are you allowed to bring a phone or a camera? You may not bring any electronics at all. No siree. The adults will have phones and they will take pictures of you and your friends. Can we bring toys? No, you are too busy to play with stuffed animals and you are supposed to go to sleep when it is bedtime. Can we bring toys? You cannot bring toys because they can get lost and distract you from learning. And you won't have any time to play with them anyway. You cannot bring toys because they will distract you and if you lose them you may never see them again.